What's up, everybody? It's your boy Trayvon here with Scent Talk TV. Thank you so much for joining me here today. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. I really do appreciate the love and the support. All the comments in the comment section below, leave them down there with all your thoughts, concerns, and opinions. I'm open to all of that and to my subscribers. Thank you so much for everything that you guys do for subscribing to this channel, bringing growth to this channel. I really do love and appreciate that. You guys are great. But without further ado, let's jump into this review. So today I will be reviewing a fragrance from the house of Mont Blanc. It's discontinued, but you can still find it at your local rack stores, Ross, Marshalls, Burlington's, and TJ Maxx's, you know, them stores. And that fragrance is none other than from the house of Mont Blanc, Cool Presence, or Presence Cool. This is a 75 milliliter size bottle, 2.5 milliliters, well, 2.5 ounces. I really do like this bottle design. Uh, very similar to Mont Blanc Presence. Got the little Mont Blanc logo at the top. Nothing there. Nothing too much going on on the back or anything like that. I do have the box, but it's buried somewhere in my other room, so it's kind of hard to find at this moment, so I can't display it, so I'm sorry. Atomizer. Not sure you guys can see that, but the atomizer is decent. It's not bad at all. Now, the juice in here is very fresh. It does have a fresh green herbalness to it. It's also warm, it's sweet, and it does have some white masculine florals to brighten it up a little bit. So on the top, you got bamboo, bergamot, granny smith apple. I don't know what kind of apple that is, but it's just apple in my eyes, I guess. In the mid, you got geranium, jasmine, and then in the base, you got musk, tonka bean, patchouli, amber, and saddlewood. So in its name, presence cool, it does give you like a cool and relaxing sensation from this fragrance. It does have that green herbaceousness, a little bit of a fresh citrus up top. I don't get too much of apple though, but I do get some bergamot and that woody aromatic vibe from the uh, the bamboo and that citrus from the bergamot. Then the masculine florals of you know geranium and some jasmine is kind of brightening up a little bit. So the bamboo as well as that bergamot is intertwining with, within itself with the geranium and the jasmine quite well as the longevity of this fragrance persists. Then you get a slightly masculine animalic touch from the musk. Then you get some dry fruity sweetness from the tonka bean. You get some, you get some patchouli in here, but majority of this fragrance, you get some sweet earthy herbaceousness from the bamboo. Then you get some citrus from the bergamot and the patchouli. Mainly, that's all I get out of this fragrance is those three notes. Everything is subtle in the background. You do get some of that rich woodiness from the saddlewood, and then the amber warms it up slightly, not too much, but it still maintains the freshness. Now, with this one, you can overspray. You're not going to offend anybody, and we will get into the longevity and projection in a minute because that's when it takes some drawbacks. This scent is good for like, you know, casual wear, you know, something that you'll want to reach for like your good stuff, your good high quality or your um, moderate to high quality of fragrances. This is good to reach for some casual, going to the grocery store, you know, just out and about when it's spring and the summertime. You know, it's like a good dumb scent that's not going to offend anybody. It's just a good refreshing, fresh out the shower, like a shower jelly type of a scent. It's very pleasant though. Don't get me wrong, it's very uh, pleasant. I like it. Price you can get this is between 20 to 30 bucks. This is a discontinued uh, fragrance, so you still can be able to pick it up online or even in rack stores and stuff like that. It's a little bit of a hit and miss. This pops up and then goes occasionally sometimes. Now, the longevity and the projection. The most I got out of this was good five, uh, four to five hours. The projection was good within the first 30 minutes to an hour. Then it set close to the skin. Now, you have to wear this in high heat situations in order for it to boom. This is not a fall scent. This is definitely not a winter scent. Spring and summertime. But this leans more summer than spring. This will perform a lot better in high heat situations, trust me. 
It's a light scent as well, so you can overspray to get a little bit more of a push out of this. But like I said, that heat will definitely support this fragrance a whole bunch. This also has a lot of versatility when it comes to age group because it doesn't have any maturity in here. It doesn't have, it's not too immature in sweetness. Uh, it doesn't have too much of a sensuality to it. It's just uh, a basic uh, freshy scent it, that you wanna spray and smell good, you know, a dumb reach that you don't wanna reach for your uh, good stuff. This is a good pickup. Now, here's what I think. Scents like this that gets rolled off because it's like either weak, don't project or don't last, Scents like this have purpose. Let's say you're in a situation where you don't want to wear any of your good stuff. You know, your niches, you know, your uh, your um, high quality stuff, your beast performance stuff, and you just want something that's kind of chill, you know? You don't want to, you want to smell good, but you ain't really looking for attention. You just something that you want to wear for yourself, you know, that you can just smell good and not, um, uh, waste any sprays of your high quality stuff i mean scents like this is good for that sometimes weak fragrances are the best fragrances depending on the situation that you are in now is this worth 20 to 25 dollars or 30 bucks i mean yeah i mean it does it's not bad you know it's just subtle you know it just sits closer to your skin for like you know for the hot summer days a clean pleasing freshy so that's all I got from Mont Blanc Presence Cool, ladies and gentlemen. You see this in a rack store, pick it up. I mean, you might like it, you might hate it. Hate it. If you hate it, just get your money back. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. And I will see you guys in the next video. Always be safe and always be blessed out there and have a good one. I'm out of here. Peace.